I was doing the Art at the Arnold, um, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger's annual event here in Columbus, Ohio. And one year my wife kind of pushed me, she said, why don't you try to do your duct tape at, at the uh, Arnold? So I did, I was worried that I wasn't gonna have enough time to get it in, so I had basically two full, full days, two full eight hour days. And in the 16th hour, I uh, completed the, my very first piece, which I did in 2013. It was actually the 25th anniversary for the Arnold Classic. So it got entered and it actually took third place, which I was very proud of. Um, and then from there, every year after, I've been doing it since 2013. And I wanted to create a body of work that was focused on the Olympic sports. So, you know, rowing, archery, gymnastics, and so on. Um, this year I did a boxing piece that was very challenging because I actually have three um, human forms in that piece. Typically it's been only one. My background is graphic art. Um, I work for an ad agency as an art director, so always had a passion for graphic design. And so I, of course, went with a 2D approach to, uh, to the duct tape art. My wife being a, um, a fiber artist, a weaver, she um, actually made hand-woven um, pieces of duct tape that she wove into these beautiful baskets. I try to keep the designs as original as possible, either from a photograph I've taken, or and sometimes I, I find images on, um, on the internet and modify them and try to bring them into more of a graphic state. So I'll bring them in into the computer and work in Illustrator and kind of simplify the shapes, maybe make them more posterized if they're a photograph. And then um, do a printout of that um, design. And I work with my design on the back of the plexiglass so that I can see through the plexiglass and actually see my, see my design through it. As I work with the design underneath, I do what's, what an artist might call uh, underpainting. I'm doing undertaping. In other words, I'm laying color where it needs to go um, based on my design that I'm seeing through my plexiglass. And then, um, after that phase, I will take the design from the back of my piece and put it on top and use it as an overlay. And it's in perfect re registration with the original that was on the back. And I'll actually, with an X-Acto knife, cut through my template, my design template, and some of the layers of the duct tape. The last phase I do is I'll put black tape over everything. And as I cut through, I'll start to peel away to reveal um, the color tape that's underneath. It's very challenging because um, it sticks to itself so well. Um, it can be frustrating, it's very time consuming. It's a lot of work with an X-Acto knife to really get the detail that I'm after. But the thing that makes me smile is when I peel away to reveal this area that I've been creating and cutting on for an hour and just to see it start to come together, to see the graphic elements start to work and kind of uh, complete my vision of what the piece is going to be um, is, is always rewarding.